everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rita ayito and this is tea spill with rita where we talk about things concerning health lifestyle and christianity and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for clicking on this video again you guys are the best thank you for all the love and all the support on today's video i'm going to be talking about ingrown hairs and how you can treat it but before we get to that we need to know what exactly are ingrown hairs what causes them and what measures can you use to prevent this and if you already have ingrown hairs what you can do to treat ingrown hairs so without wasting much time let's get into the video ingrown hairs is just basically hair that grows inward instead of the hair to come out as it normally does instead it curls and goes back in and this is actually very painful you can end up with bumps on your skin itching swelling and all that and what actually causes this is maybe due to shaving maybe when you're shaving too often or you don't shave well and most people that you see having these ingrown hairs are like people that are very hairy and people that have curly hairs Placed on the body where this can actually happen is on the face, like for the guys that have beards, your armpits, your chest, your pubic hair, your legs, anywhere you probably decide to shave your body and then you start experiencing this, it's likely for you to have ingrown hairs in those areas. So if you don't want to experience any of this, you need to know what you should do to prevent ingrown hairs. Number one, you need to exfoliate your skin. Exfoliating actually helps to remove dead skin cells. So if you do this at least once a week, it will really help to remove hairs that are trapped in there. So exfoliating is actually very good. It's one of the ways you can prevent ingrown hairs. Two, anytime you want to shave, please use a new razor. Sometimes you might want to be economical about some things and say, oh, it's still doing its job. I'm going to use this blade. But please, every single time you want to shave, use a new blade. Three, make sure you warm up the area before shaving. Get a um, warm water, you know, warm up the area with your face. Use the warm water on your face before shaving and try to moisturize. If you have some of these shaving creams, it's, I think it's best if you use them before you actually start shaving. Four, when you're shaving, always shave in the direction of the hair. Like if your hair grows downwards, shave in the direction of that hair. Don't go the opposite direction because you're only going to end up trapping hair and you know causing all the things that you don't want. So try to shave in the direction of the hair. Also, make sure you keep the razor clean. After each stroke, you rinse it with warm water and then you go back again. And finally, after shaving, use cold cloth on that area. Why? Because you want to reduce the irritation that you're going to get after shaving. So it's best you apply a cool cloth on that area to you know, prevent all those irritations and itching and all that. Now let's get to the treatment. You already have ingrown hairs and you're wondering how can I treat these ingrown hairs? What can I do to make this go away? First of all, you need to deal with what exactly is causing the ingrown hair. Is it the shaving that is always causing these ingrown hairs? Are you always doing clean shaving or do you notice this every single time that you're shaving? Especially those people that are, you know, are hairy and all. If it's because of the shaving that you're having all those um, um, ingrown hairs, I think it's best you actually stop shaving. Yes, just stop shaving and allow the hair to grow because that's the only way you can relieve yourself of no pain, going through all those pain and all that. That's one option. Also, the next option is to use a warm cloth on the area and massage the area in a circular motion. Why are you using warm water? It's because you want to open the pores. If you notice, hot water actually helps to open your pores. So when you open these pores, it will help to you know, bring out those ingrown hairs. So if you can do this for like 10 minutes, it's going to be very helpful. Or you can do like face steaming if it's your face facial area but if it's any other place you can use um, a, a flannel in a hot water and you know massage that place in a circular motion then if you notice that all these are not working all these remedies are not working and it keeps on swelling the pain becomes worse you know the pus starts coming out or the place starts getting red you need to see a healthcare professional they might recommend antibiotics to probably treat the infection if there is an infection and they can recommend steroid creams to reduce some swelling also if you go to see a healthcare professional they can help you to remove these ingrown hairs so that they, they, they use like a sterile needle and you know try to remove that ingrown hair or they use like tweezers to try and pluck it out but it's not advisable for you to do that on your own it's best to see a healthcare professional that can do it and you know do it well so that you don't come back with one problem or the other don't come back with infection don't come back with something worsening on your face and all you don't want that so i think i've been able to cover up everything 
if you would like to share your experiences if you actually had ingrown hairs please do drop them in the comment section it could help one or two persons so that's basically a wrap for this video thank you for watching to this point my usual anthem don't forget to like share and subscribe like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye so that okay you're having ingrown hairs what ha ha like just hair glue it's just hair it's hair grain underneath your skin because you're only going to end up trapping hair <laughs> not you please mm -mm. have a lovely bye bye and i'll see you in my next video